This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. You know, sometimes I wonder about Fox News and the, the disparate satellite of characters on the network. Shannon Bream is one of their straight news reporters. She's an anchor. She's an actual uh, newswoman. She's not a, a, a pumpkin-headed talking head like Hannity or Laura Ingram or Tucker Carlson before or Jesse Waters or the host of all the others. She's supposed to be straight down the middle. Please. Well, I think we all know that is not the case. But I always wonder about Fox News, uh, uh, about how they feel. How she, We'll just talk about her specifically. How does Shannon Bream feel about being a transparent puppet of distributing propaganda, lies, disinformation, uh, about carrying water for one particular political party? This clip is remarkable, and I want to talk about it. But first, but first, I want to every every year that Republicans have the majority in the House of Representatives because of our system of government, and that the, any any bill having to do with appropriations about uh, funding the government or funding this or that money has to originate in the House of Representatives. So it, it's an important body, and <laughs> whenever Republicans are in control of the House. They, they threaten to shut down the United States government and all that, that, that comes with that um, if they don't get their way. And they use this government shutdown threat because they're unable to um, win over other parts of the electorate, win over the, 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 the presidency. They don't have what it takes on a policy basis to convince Americans. So what they do is they hold the government hostage extra democratically, outside of democracy they do this, um, to get their way. I mean, it's, it, it's akin to a, a, to a hostage situation. I don't think that's a, a misnomer, a misuse of that term. And so in this clip, Shannon Bream asks the question of Karl Rove, a Republican, I mean, a Republican if there ever was one, the dirty trickster for George W. Bush, and the, well, why do you think it is that Republicans always get blamed for government shutdowns? And in a in a, a moment for the ages, a shocking moment, Karl Rove says, "Well, it's because Republicans are responsible for the government shutdowns. It's never Democrats who are like, yeah, we're going to threaten to shut down the government. We're going to send everything into chaos for our political needs, our political wants." Uh, watch this clip. Let's. Uh, I'll revisit it when it plays. We'll talk about it on the other side. There's another fight that everybody's going to get blamed for, too. Another Hill headline says this. Lawmakers prepare for shutdown blame game. Carl, this never seems to go well for anyone, but it does generally seem that Republicans get blamed for these shutdowns. Well, generally because Republicans are responsible for the shutdown. They seem to eagerly <laughs> want go. it. So, yeah, there's a reason why they get blamed. And, and, and look, the American people demand that their government try and run itself in an appropriate fashion. And the fact that the biggest financial and business enterprise in the world, the U.S. government, cannot pass a budget in time and then ends up shutting itself down over things that are on the margin. I mean, we're talking about uh, the difference between this and that. And... Uh, uh, the Republicans are going to be uh, shoot themselves in the foot and run in the run up to the 2024 election if they continue to to, to think that shutdowns are a great way to uh, mm. put themselves in front of the American people. But this entire framing is bananas about who gets blamed as though that's apart from it's separate from who's responsible. The reason they are blamed is because they are responsible. They can try to spin it using their uh, party-funded propaganda, but it is Republicans. Democrats have no role in this uh, other than being held hostage or being a hostage negotiator where the United States and her people are being held ha hostage. But the question being asked by a straight news person is a remarkable thing. Media literacy in America really needs a needs a, a, a jolt. It needs a shot in the arm, as the uh, <laughs> the proverb goes. But uh, you, that might scare Republicans. You know, getting the jab. 
It is remarkable that she feigns to act like she's confused about why Republicans, oh, why would it be? Huh. Let's ponder the reasons why maybe Republicans are blamed for government shutdowns. I mean, if you look over the course of the last 20, 25 years, every single time it's happened, I wonder what was happening and who was in charge and who threatened what. I think we all know the answer to this. Donald Trump runs up, I mean, they blame it on spending. But when their guy was president, you know, 25% of our national debt is at the feet of Donald Trump. It's his responsibility because of him. And there was nary a word spoken, nary a criticism from anybody, including the budget hawks like, like Paul Ryan and others. Nothing to say when it's their guy. You see, this is all politics. This is all propaganda. This is all lies. This is all an effort to stay in power, to maintain their power. Now, thankfully for America, I, I believe, thankfully, uh, we're in a situation where the Republican Party has no idea what is on the minds of Americans. They have zero clue what the priorities of actual American voters are. And they think this is going to play well. This will play well to the MAGA base because they view this as a, as a sporting event. This is but a reality TV show to MAGA world. But to people who rely on government services, to, to, to people who are typically, whether voiceless or have less of a voice in the process, poor people, people of color, marginalized groups all across the country, it does matter to them. Veteran communities. It matters a lot to them. But Republicans, they're going to do what they're going to do to placate MAGA world, to signal to them we are agents of chaos and we don't care because they don't care. I mean, cruelty is the point. That's separate and apart from what I'm talking about now. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's directly connected to what I'm talking about now. But this is, this is not the way things should be. And the media covers this like it's a ah, normal course of order. It's certainly not. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, how will a government shutdown impact you? We can talk about it in the comments. That helps to, to juice up the algorithm, get this channel recommended to possible new viewers. That would be fantastic. You can also call and leave me a voicemail, 714 Five seven six forty fifty four. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. If you appreciate what I do, if I bring you value on a day-to-day -day basis and you want to help support this work, click the join button below. Become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month. You can hit the super thanks button or even better, even better, even better. You can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. All those are great ways to help support the work we do here. And I would appreciate it very much. After all of that, if you're still not sick of me and you want to find me on social media, I am at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, Threads, TikTok, Facebook, all of them, at Dollamore, and I'd love to see you there. Uh, I'll see you next time. Until I do, look at you, Shannon Bream. <laughs> Be genuine and take care of one another.